Hello YouTube, welcome to the very first episode of John's Workshop. What should be immediately apparent is John doesn't have a workshop. John has got a mess in front of him that he needs to turn into a workshop. Um, I live in Scotland, it's a very damp part of Scotland. I've got a single garage which is incredibly damp. Uh, damp walls, window that leaks at the back that needs fixing and several pieces of machinery I've collected over time that are just going rusty in the garage that I need to um, I need to fix. So this is the start of the journey. Uh, it's taken a while to get this far. I've had to build uh, this shed next door um, to house all of the rubbish that uh, I had in my garage that meant I couldn't even get in the door. And the rubbish that you see in front of you that's left is all engineering type stuff that needs to stay in here um, to form a workshop. And on the left, I bought some timber to board the walls out to try and cover up the dampness. Moving into the garage, uh, looking in a bit more detail um, at the uh, equipment. So you'll see uh, there is a dented Viceroy uh, centre lathe. Um, it's very old, uh, circa 1950s, I think. It came out of the uh, Windsor School for Boys, so it was in a um, in a school training environment and uh, it's got the, uh, the the telltale signs of that in terms of uh, marks various marks on the on the bed uh, just under the chuck where chuck keys have obviously been uh, um, spun for fun um, um, as people tend to do when they don't know what they're doing um, above that is a, um, a sort of offhand grinder a small unit um, very very old as well uh, but it's uh, it's useful for sharpening tools and drills and bits and pieces like that um, over there under boxes and things is an interesting bit of kit that I purchased um, it was an eBay purchase late at night um, on reflection probably not the smartest of things but anyway it is a um, Taylor Hobson or rank Taylor Hobson pantograph uh, uh, marking machine. Um, it used to belong to the Royal Armouries uh, and I believe during the Second World War it was used for uh, marking the serial number badge plates for the um, I think it was Bren and Enfield rifles. There was a whole load of paperwork that I got with it that, that, that showed its history. Um, when I got it it was a horrible bright green colour. Um, I stripped it completely down and rebuilt it a few years ago now. Repainted it um, and put it back to a, a serviceable condition um, and since then it's been uh, sat in here for about three years going um, rusty um, waiting for some attention um, so one of the machines that I'm thinking about either keeping or selling I did have some ideas about taking the um, the top piece off the pantograph piece and building a head sort of a sliding head that I can fit on that will make a small milling machine so I can convert it into a, a small three axis milling machine which will be useful um, that may happen, it may not. Um, I may end up just buying a, a small milling machine um, rather than converting that one, but it would be an interesting project and potentially one for the future. Um, you'll see there's various other tool boxes and various other bits and pieces. Some of them go back to the sort of late 1980s when I was an apprentice. I've still got all of my uh, tools and bits and pieces that I made as a, an apprentice toolmaker back in the, in the late 80s. Um, and various other bits of uh, kit squirreled away in boxes from various house moves we've done over the years until we ended up uh, where we currently live in Scotland. So that's a bit of an overview of um, sort of the garage and what I'm planning to do and some of the machinery. Um, probably not the best video quality. I've got a cheap uh, video camera that I bought off um, Amazon just to start this off and see how we go. Um, I don't think there's going to be too many videos in the near future because there's obviously a lot of work to do but uh, I plan to try and document um, what I do in, in videos and hopefully one or two of you will find it interesting. Um, I watch and contribute to various machinist YouTube channels, UK and uh, all over the world really, and have done for many years. Um, so if you like watching John Mills Double Boost and uh, you know, um, various other workshops like that, you'll hopefully enjoy what you see on this channel at some point in the future. Um, 
So we'll leave it at there for now and I will uh, have a go at video, video editing for the first time and uploading to YouTube. Um, very difficult where we live. Uh, we have a copper connection <laughs> to the uh, to the internet which is incredibly slow. Uh, you know, about 0.5 megabits I think we get so or, or whatever the, I'm, I'm not a tech a techie guy but it's incredibly slow um, compared to people who've got fiber optic broadband and various other things so videos are going to be short to start with and um, we'll see how we go with the, with the editing and uploading and um, hopefully um, over the next few weeks and months you'll see some changes as we start to build this into some kind of a workshop and start uh, start doing some projects Okay, we'll leave it there for now and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.